welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us on a Wednesday. Emily's in the house. How are you, dear? I'm doing great. Good. Are you doing okay in the heat? Oh my gosh, I'm melting. It's so hot in Nebraska. It's so hot. So hot and humid. When I was walking um, to the gym this morning, it was already 73 degrees. Wow. It just makes everybody melt. It really does. All right, where is everybody watching from? Cindy is watching from Shelton, Washington. I know where that is. And Armetta is watching from Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us well, today. Hello. And Peggy is watching from Iowa. <laughs> all right, we're glad that you are all here. All right, quilters, here are the new projects from the countdown video. First of all, we have Ariel with some awesome gnome wall hanging. Oh. Okay, this is super cute because she just used strips. Do you see that, Emily? She I just love made a whole that. bunch of strips. And yes. I feel like they maybe were scrappy strips and sewed them all together with super cute. Gnome. I'm in love with that colorway, too. Mm -hmm. It's very springy. Very springy. Very fun. Next, we have a lovely table runner from Kathy. T, do you know what dye this is? Ohio Star, I'm working Ohio on an Star Ohio Star. Ohio makes a right nice now. big 12 inch block. Mm -hmm. And this is fun because she used sashing and, board, and cornerstones between the blocks. Yeah, that was which I think it's great. Um, Barbara C made this super cool baseball inspired quilt. It's amazing. Used our strip dye and then in the corners is our sports medley. And this is the uppercase carefree alphabet. How so, fun is that? So creative too. Very much so, very much so. And lastly, we have an amazing checkerboard baseball quilt with Batman checkers. <laughs> and it was made by Wendy K. I think this is super cute because first of all, it has baseball and Batman. Totally. I know, look how fun that is. Good what job, Wendy. What a combo, I love it. There you go. All right, quilters, today's show is all about the Go Butterfly dye, which is the May dye to try. It is an AccuQuilt exclusive and only available at AccuQuilt.com. All right, here is my photo of the day in honor of the butterflies. Um, so butterflies um, go to flowers and get sweet nectar because that's what butterflies are drawn to. Hey, if you're ever in the Omaha area, um, go to the Omaha Zoo. We have the Butterfly Pavilion, which is really super cool. Yeah. So here is my question of the day. Do you prefer a sweet or a salty snack? So here in the Dream Studio, the guys were like salty and sweet and sweet and but Emily then said popcorn and chocolate right it's and then like, everybody kind of changed their mind that salty sweet it's like the perfect marriage yeah it's so good yeah I do I do love that um you know I have a tendency if I have like a canister of Pringles mm. that is not a good thing because oh. I'll just eat them all yeah but I don't know so in the comment section today <laughs> do you prefer a sweet or a salty snack all right, and don't forget to get your Pieced Butterfly um, die. It's available at AccuQuilt.com. Look, here is the block that it so makes. So cute. Isn't this cute? This is the project we're going to make today. And look, the fabric, yes, it does have butterflies. Quilters, graduation season is upon us. We also have this great promo code, CLASS OF 22, to help celebrate the graduates of the Class of 22, uh, 2022. Here's the deal. 22% off your order. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for details. Quilters, we're also having a warehouse sale that will take up to 34% off selected items, but you have to use that promo code CLASS OF 22. So you get 22% and then up to 34%. Yeah. Plus, if you spend over $400 on your order, you can get a free Go Me fabric cutter starter set which is great, no promo code required, they're just put one in your, in your box. Don't forget all of the bundles are still available from when we launched the butterfly last week. So make sure you check the website for pricing and details, right, Emily, we have all those bundles still available. We sure so do. So remember the butterfly uh, finishes to nine inches. We have the nine inch setting triangles, the starry path, and the crossroads. Yep, and that particular dye bundle right now is only $349.99. Oh, that's a great price. Yeah, it's a really nice price right now. And I think it comes with two mats. It surely does, yep, the six by 24 and the 10 by 24. So sure. See, look at me knowing some stuff. You're ready to go. <laughs> All right, quilters, today I'm giving away one of our Go Butterfly Pieced dyes. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. 
By registering, you receive event emails, mm. and that way you will never miss an exciting tutorial. Emily's going to announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show today. I'm excited about it. All right, so let's talk about this die. Okay, I, it is so hot today in Nebraska, so I have drink on my on my set here. Okay, we talked about this. This is our newest Bob or block and board die. It is the butterfly pieced die. And why did we call it the pieced die, Emily? Well, because you can change up. It's not all on one piece. You can you can do all different colorways yeah. and mix things yep. up and yep. piece it different ways. So and fantastic. Then do we have lots of dies that are applique butterflies? Oh my gosh, absolutely. We have so many. They're yeah. so pretty too. So now you can have your choice. You can either piece a block together or you can have appliques. It's, I think it's a great idea. They sure do. It's on a six by 24 die board. It meets, um, so it'll fit through any of our cutters, including that go me. Since it's on a six by 24 die board, make sure you have a six by 24 cutting mat. Mm -hmm. Quilters ask me all the time, can I use my bigger mats? And the answer is no, it'll shimmy as it goes through. Exactly. Now, all of the shapes are in the die are screen printed for easy placement and piecing. And each shape also has these really great, we've specialized the dog ears on them. And from here to here is a quarter inch seam allowance. So everything works together perfectly. Here is my pro tip of the day. It's right out of the gate. It is crucial to piece your block in the order listed in the pattern. Otherwise, your block will be wonky, okay? So when you get the die on the back are piecing instructions and that's how you wanna piece it, all right? Hey, join me and Erica on Tuesday, May 17th at 12 noon central time. Oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna launch four new products. I'm so excited about it. Ooh. Be sure to register for the event to be eligible to win prizes. Now, behind the amazing Emily is this uh, pattern called Spring Flutter Pattern. It's available at AccuQuilt.com. And this is a little bit different than the um, one on the packaging, because the one on the packaging is batiks, and, and right. you can mix and match it. But this one is beautiful because the butterflies are all the same color. The background is all the same color. And then we're going to use a um, cross canoes block between them and I just think it's so pretty do you not love this fabric that combination oh my god it's beautiful I'm it obsessed. is beautiful and it has a straight binding all the good things love it all the good things this year all right so for this block we are going to use three colors and I don't know when I was doing this I I just always think of this as a stem but this is actually the <laughs> the butterfly body okay yeah. Um, so, and the, the die is um, divided by colors, mm -hmm. okay. okay? So this is the body of the die, and I just have a little, I like this little black and white, those little dots. Mm -hmm. This is the background color, okay? All right, and so I'm just gonna Lay my fabric here. We're just gonna cut one today. I have many butterflies. <laughs> and then shapes A and B are what we call directional shapes. So for this, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna fan fold your fabric okay. back and forth. Because if you have all your fabric facing up, when you cut this, you will only have the left side That's right. of the butterfly. Mm -hmm. And we did show you when we launched this die was it just last week just last week just last Tuesday a week ago <laughs> from yesterday um we showed you how to make that half block which is super right. cool right so cool yeah so you could make half butterflies but today I'm making full butterflies and look I have butterfly fabric so cool. um it, imagine that it goes on a quilt that Oakley had okay so that now all of my fabric is laid out I am going to run it through the cutter. Now, this could go through your Go Me, but we're gonna use our Go Big today uh, because we can. Mm -hmm. You can actually, it's wide enough to cut two dies in one pass. We're just gonna cut one. Yeah. All right, Emily, while we're cutting it, tell us what people, are, are they liking sweet or salty? This so, is gonna be my favorite question. I know, seriously. So, Anne says sweets. Okay. Um, Jenny says kettle corn is my favorite snack because it's sweet and salty. Yes. Um, 
Okay, Sandy does not care for salty, period. Not ever salty. Loves the sweets, but rare occasions. Wow, that I is, know. boy, that is devotion. Right? Terry says sweets are in her genes. Certain, <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, okay, apparently certain DNA test kits traits um, can prove that it's in your genes. I feel like the bigger your genes are, the bigger the sweets are. <laughs> I agree, but I totally agree. <laughs> In my case, that's how we know, okay? Oh All right, <laughs> let's give it some love. Slide this mat, don't lift. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna just peel back my fabric. And Emily, this is kind of fun because um, before we get into laying out our block and making our butterfly, I wanted to show you this. Um, this, has actually an embroidery file oh, ooh. that adds the little antennas. How cute is that? No. So if you have an embroidery machine and you're thinking, oh, I'd like to add a little something, something to yes. my little um, butterfly, you could do this. And we'll talk in a little bit about some other ways to embellish your butterfly. But I, I think that. that's right. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna lay out our block. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? Thank you. Keep going. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> we're, listen, we're having such a day today. Um, so as we're getting ready to lay our block, let's talk about why an AccuQuilt fabric cutter is better than rotary cutting. Okay, because first of all, in my quilting head, I could never ever cut these shapes with a rotary cutter. Yeah. I just think that's nonsense. No. Right? And it's never gonna be accurate. You can cut three butterflies in one pass through the cutter because you can always use six layers of fabric, right? Yeah. And every time they're gonna be accurate. And here with our little half square triangles, look, we've cut off the dog ears, we can put them together. Perfect. All right, hey, don't forget, we're having a warehouse sale. This sale will take up to 34% off selected items when you use that promo code class of 22. Hey, congratulations to my good friend, Emma. She's graduating this year. Plus, get a free Go Me fabric cutter starter set on orders over $100 or $400. And don't forget the bundles. Um, if you just go to our website, you can get the pricing and details. Yes. And don't forget, today I'm giving away one of our Go Butterfly Peace dies. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. All right, so now I'm going to lay out my butterfly. And this is so important. Um, Emily, we talk about this all the time about how we lay out our pieces, mm -hmm. right? So that we sew them together correctly. Yeah, there you go. And I feel like this is one of those times you really, really want to do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I also, here's my little tip. I'm going to leave my fabric. Um, it's okay, they're, um, Justin, I'm good. Um, I'm going to lay my, leave my pieces on my die because then I know um, oh, which ones they which are. Which shapes they are, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're going to start here at the top and we're going to sew our shape C, which is this big half square triangle, to our shape A. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, you know how I love to chain piece. This is a great chain piecing block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them right here, okay? And then I'm just going to take them to my machine and just do a little chain piecing, okay? okay. So start with the bigger one. All right, Emily, while I'm sewing, Yes. Tell us, tell us all the things. Lots of sweet and salty. So um, Dolores, sweet and salty, team both. Um, let's see, oh yeah, Jeannie also says sweet and salty together. Yes, love this. Um, ooh, trail mix, says Donna. Oh, we often eat popcorn with um, peanut M&Ms. Oh, I love that, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, peanuts and chocolate is like a very good yeah. combination. And do you not at whatever time that is, Halloween, oh, how would I not know that? Halloween yeah. time, do you not eat um, uh, peanuts and candy corn? Yes. Right, because then it tastes like it's 
Unbelievable. Uh, salt and nut rolls. It really, really does. Yeah, that's probably one of the greater combinations. And actually, I haven't even eaten lunch yet, and I'm, <laughs> we're already talking about you salty and sweet. You can tell we're hungry. <laughs> I know, right? Holy smokes. Well, and speaking of like laying fabric out, Pam, you just reminded me of um, a time where I was making one of our table, or it was a picnic um, project, and I cut accidentally multiple wonky hearts like completely upside down because I, com I oh, completely forgot. Oh, because you fan folded. Exactly, I didn't fan fold. So what, but what ended up happening was is that because I was able to lay everything out upside down, it wasn't that it wasn't the same direction, but it actually worked out really well because it was four corners and I was able to do two of each. But, oh, that makes sense. But that the only sense. way I was able to do it was because I laid out every single block upside down and then sewed it. <laughs> Okay, so when I first got the wonky heart, I did the same thing. I didn't read the instructions, and um, I just basically um, cut new fabric. I, in my quilting head, I couldn't figure out how to make it upside down. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh. I think that's like the the like biggest lesson I've learned through AccuQuilt is just read the directions very carefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all in there. <laughs> it's all in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, now that I've sewn my um, shape, uh, see, I press my seams open, mm -hmm. okay? And then I'm gonna take to my shape B, we're gonna start with, hold on, I'm just reading here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take our shape D and we're gonna add it to the corners. And these, oh, I make sure my fabric's going the right way, mm -hmm. okay? We're gonna need four of them, right? So there we go. So I'm gonna start here, all right? And then add them here. Let's see, Pam's, Pam Tina's wondering, is it better to fan fold right side in? I don't think it makes a difference. Okay. Gosh, nobody's ever asked me that. In 10 years I've been no. here, no one's ever said, which way should you fan fold? Right, good question. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just fan fold. Right. Oh, hey, quilters, um, it's the beginning of the month. I'm gonna tell you to change the needle on your sewing machine. Ooh. Last night, I was sewing, sewing, sewing. I was super happy. I was downstairs where it was air conditioned and it was fabulous. <laughs> and my sewing machine made this horrible noise. And I thought, what is going on here? Oh my goodness. And I re-threaded it and put a new needle. And now it's beautiful again. I, don't, I sew hundreds of hours every month, and I'm gonna tell you, quilters, you need to make sure you have a fresh needle. Okay, and again, press my seams open. Hey, don't forget we have our little shovel irons, and our wool mats are on our website, and we have a new iron, yes. the little Steam Fast. Is that what it's called? Yes, the little new mini steam iron. It's so cute. It's darling. It really, really is. It's just like handheld. It fits perfectly. It almost looks like it's like ergonomic or something because it's just so like, it just fits in your hand so perfectly, yeah. you know? Yeah. Love no, it. and I, I think it's great for, um, to have next to your sewing machine, and I, I just love them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna take those same um, shape Ds and we're gonna sew them to our shape Bs. Love it. Okay. And uh, Sharon's wondering, do you, do you or do you not iron your fabric before cutting? <laughs> Are you noticing the little um, creases in there? I usually do, and it was actually very well ironed yesterday, and then it um, got shoved in the car. And so there's a little crease on it. Yeah, I usually do. Uh, for sure, for sure, for sure, before I cut fabric, you wanna make sure it doesn't have any really big creases in it. Right. Because then it's gonna really cause a problem when you're cutting. But yeah, yeah thanks, for, thanks for that. All right, again, I'm pressing my seams open. Look how fast and easy this is going, mm. right? Okay. Okay, I love this question, Pam. So this is very like, this is gonna test your knowledge. Oh gosh. Are you ready okay. for it? So Carol wants to know, what was the first dye that AccuQuilt introduced? Well, so that's a trick question. Okay. Um, because the first shape that, well, I'm gonna tell you it's a square. Okay. It was a square. And then I'm gonna tell you that one of the first Bob dies was Hunter Star. 
Oh, that would totally make sense. This is a classic. Mm -hmm. So there's a great story about how AccuCut is our sister company. Yeah. And um, Steve Nabity, who created our amazing machine, um, took our AccuCut machine to Quilt Market and told quilters they could cut fabric with it and actually didn't cut as well. So he's an engineer and he redesigned the machine so that it cuts fabric. So that's why our AccuCut dies and our Go dies are different. Right. Um, Go dies are super sharp. They're gonna be able to cut those six layers of fabric, whereas AccuCut is meant to cut paper. But how it all began was his wife was a school teacher 25 years ago, 30 years ago, and it was Halloween time and she was rolling out cookie dough and she took a pumpkin cookie cutter and was cutting out pumpkin shapes. Yeah. And he had created what he thought would be a die cutting machine. Right. And he just didn't know how to cut with it. Sure. So he actually took that cookie cutter, put um, some paper on it and took a rolling pin and inverted it and cut it and cut the pumpkin shape. And then he knew how to create a die cutting system. Oh, how cool. So the very first AccuCut shape is a pumpkin. I love that. Some things I do know. Why did Carol know differently? Does she think it's different and than it's that? Your, no, she was, she oh, was good. wondering. Yeah, she was like, do you know? And I, and I said, I just thought to myself, I have no idea. I, I got nothing. I got yes. nothing. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to come here and this is shape E and we're going to add it to the centers. Okay. Again, you're going to follow the pattern. Okay. And we're just going to, but yeah, Hunter Star was one of our very first bobs. I thought she was going to ask me a question like, what was the first die I ever used? Do you know that story? No, I don't think you've told it to me, Pam. Yeah, so the first die I ever used at AccuQuilt, like to work on a project, mm -hmm. was actually um, English paper piecing. We have the um, die that just cut the one inch yeah. fabric and sides. And then the first quilt that I, or the first quilt that I made, I used the big six inch tumbler quilt. I love that. Yeah. So we're kind of on, so is that why you suggested that I did the six inch tumbler yes. too to start out with? I love that. And the six inch tumbler is a great size because it's big and you can use, you know, um, you can use layer cakes or you can use yardage, but it has those little notches and then that allows you to create your projects. So I wonder, is that tumbler big, all the it. tumblers on sale right now? The tumblers are, yes, it's actually the six and a half is part of the 22% off today Excellent. with that class of 22. Excellent. And like, I was just thinking to myself too, Pam, like, okay, if we have, you know, folks that are literally just getting started out and they just want to do, maybe start out with the go me. Yes. Okay, today, if your net total is over $400, you could just get a few, you could get like a cube and some companion sets. Right. Spend that $400, get the cutter for free. Right. And the four, six, eight, nine cubes and their companions will fit through our go me. Yes, they sure I will. To stop at 10. Yep. 10 and 12 will fit in our goes and our go bigs. Yep. And the, so like the six and nine inch cubes, for example, today, $194.99. Oh, see, that's a great price. So, I mean, yeah, when they're usually $249, it's like, it's a no brainer. It's the perfect time to invest. Okay. So now I'm adding this last shape. So the reason I added the sides is so that when I come here, Emily, it's going to match. Perfect. I know. I just think it's great. Okay, tell us if people are having sweet and salty snacks. Absolutely. Danette says it completely depends on the day. <laughs> um, there you go, Danette. Whereas Miss Annette says, I have the biggest sweet tooth. Chocolate and salted caramel is my fave. Okay, so that kind of includes salty too, though. It does. It's salted it does. caramel. <laughs> I love turtles. <gasps> yeah, the turtles, right? turtles yes. Turtles, because they have chocolate and caramel and, and oh, nuts. Turtles are everything. They really are. And I'm not just talking about the animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. What else are people having? Are they having sweet and salty? Or do you have any other questions? Let's see. Well, Miss Armida says, ooh, salty with a Pepsi. I love how specific that is. I'm kind of the same way where it's like I need like a Coca-Cola or like a soda with that salty to like wash it down. Um, when I went to Mexico, um, Pepsi in Mexico is made with real sugar. Yes. And it tastes completely different than it does here in the United States. It does. And so I love that. That's like my, if I'm going to Mexico, I get Pepsi. You know, like real sugar. See, and they actually have Mexican Coca-Cola at Chipotle. 
like oh, in, see, there you, like in the bottle. But see, I'm not a Coca-Cola fan. I'm a Pepsi fan. Okay, so very. One day we'll have that discussion. I was going to say, we've got a yes. That's going to be like a battle royale. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel like people will get offended, though, if we talk about Pepsi and Coke. That's okay, true. so now look. Okay, in the time I've been talking, we could have sewn eight of them together. Okay, but now look. So we have the top and the bottom, and now we're just going to sew them together. And because we pressed our seams open, all those seams are going to match, mm -hmm. and it's going to run beautifully. So pretty. Okay. And, okay. Let's <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And I'm just thinking about Pepsi and Coke at the moment. <laughs> I got to right. focus on what I'm doing at hand here. Well, when we were, when I was in high school, we, um, there was like a, a huge, you know, fight between our classmates about Chipotle versus Qdoba. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it was like, you okay, were they either. they are different. You, the they, rice is different. They the are. The queso is different. Exactly. Everything, there's just like the nuances, but you know, if you were a Chipotle person, you were a Chipotle person. And if yeah. you were a Kidoba, you were, you know, it's like, See? there's no in between. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's just, it's just amazing. Exactly. But back to quilting. Back to quilting. Back <laughs> to butterflies. Rebecca is wondering if you start your fabric and I don't, I don't believe we do, correct? Do I what? Start your fabric before. Never. Never. And here's why, quilters, I don't start to my fabric. Because it leaves that residue on oh, there. Sure. And unless I'm going to wash it, then it still has that residue. And then if you have a cat or a dog or dust in your house, I know none of you have dust in your house, <laughs> um, that attaches to that. You know, okay. it, it has a tendency to... So I only um, do that if I'm going to... Um, uh, wash it, but uh, even then, hardly ever. Sure, that makes sense. Okay, so now my halves are sewn together. Look how fun this is. Oh my gosh, so cute. I'm loving the whole salty sweet thing though. I know, this is so much fun. Let's see what other answers we have. We were um, talking earlier about um, when I traveled, I had a donut that had mm. caramel or maple, it was like a maple donut with crispy bacon on top. Oh. It was awesome. It sounds to die for. It was awesome. Oh my gosh, so decadent. Okay, so there's my butterfly halves. Aww. Okay, this is our cute little butterfly body. And this shape right here is shape F. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this to either side. Perfect. Make sure I have my fabric. I love white on white fabric. You gotta make sure it's painted right though. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Let's see. So I love this. So Teresa says that she likes salty things with a sweet chaser. Okay. <laughs> which like, to me that's like salty with a soda. Right, you know? yeah, I think so, salty with a soda. I love that. Um, so Patty can't have salt, so she only gravitates towards sweet. Oh, there you go. Um, there you go. Whereas, okay, so Miss Deanna from Lenox, South Dakota. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. Likes the sweet and salty kettle corn. Yeah, kettle corn is huge. Mm -hmm. Kettle I corn is huge. Kettle corn really is. It's a, it's a really, really good one. Ooh, apparently there's one that has popcorn with Reese's pieces. Oh. Ooh. I could do that. That sounds like a great, like, movie snack. Like, yes. watching a movie and snacking yes. on that. Here we go. Oh, so good. Okay. And look at this little butterfly. He's so, I know, isn't so he cute. So cute. Okay, so I'm gonna add the butterfly to this side and then we're gonna add the other side. Okay, this is so easy to piece together quilters. It really is, isn't you just it? need to be making butterflies for days. And I love the fact that you could use um, blocks for the center that you could applique, you could put flowers, you could put butterflies, you could put all of those kind of fun things, right? Because like our daisy dye, is that part of the big sale? It sure is. It's only $22.43 with all those discounts. Yeah, perfect. It's fantastic. Perfect. And like all of the, uh, the dyes in the pattern behind me, um, the, with the exception of the butterfly, all of those are also part, so like the strip cutter, um, oh. it includes that two inch, one and a half finished. 
Um, the four and a half, four inch finish, those are both usually $99.99. They're both $58.50. But the two and a half, two inch finish, so that perfect like binding die, right. 34% off today. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I, that would be a listen, great Listen, I'm going to tell you, strip dies, I use them all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just I just love the, that we have 18 of them. Yeah. They have different sizes, and you can make all sorts of different projects. But I'm telling you, I use strip dies more often than not. I had to cut the other day some squares. Mm -hmm. And I needed, I don't know, six inch squares, so I used my six inch strip die, mm -hmm. cut my strips, turned them at 90 degrees, and cut squares. I love it. Yeah, it's just so fast and easy. Well, and when you were in Paducah, I think that was like people's, like almost their number one answer was the strip dies. That's their favorite did. die. Yeah, people did love our strip dies. They really do. Okay, <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh. Da to da. <laughs> Okay, so I would take it to my iron and give it a, um, my big iron and give it a good press and it's gonna line up just perfectly. Look at how fun that is. So I love it. Okay, you're gonna need a total of five butterflies for the um, project behind Emily. Don't forget, all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages so you can go back and watch them if you want to. All right, Emily, talk about our blog. Absolutely, we have a fantastic blog. Um, so our go-getters, who are our in influencers and love to use our product, um, they will write um, exclusive patterns for us, which can only be found on that AccuQuilt blog. So definitely go check it out. Um, it's a great way to engage with the community and, um, and AccuQuilt yeah. and learn a lot, a lot of great tips yeah. and tricks. And we have great go-getters who write amazing things. Oh my gosh, they're unbelievable. They're so talented. Okay, so now this pattern also includes a block made with the Go Cross Canoes die. Mm -hmm. And this is one we don't talk about very often. Um, let me show you. Real quick, okay, so this is actually on a 10 by 10 die board, so it's gonna fit through our Go and our Go Big. Yes. And again, it's screen printed, and there are blades here and here and here. So this is A and A right, mm -hmm. because you need a left and a right to go around this center, and it basically makes um, a square which is gonna work perfectly. It, four of them sewn together makes a nine inch block. Perfect. So it's going to work perfectly with our nine inch pieced butterfly. So you're going to need four blocks from the cross canoes to finish this quilt top. Okay. And I'm just going to lay out, I have some blocks that are already cut here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Cut and sewn. I just had such a, oh, look, okay, here, let's look at these blocks. This is um, similar to what the pattern shows you. Mm -hmm. And this was so fun because I had layer cakes that were batiks, mm -hmm. and then I was just able to fan fold them and use this. A great way to kind of make things scrappy. You can do lots of those things with butterflies. I did like the fact that um, we made a butterfly block with butterfly fabric. Absolutely. All right, so what I did was I measured from here to here, added a quarter of an inch on either side, just rough cut my fabric. You wanna make sure you have that nice tight lengthwise green. And I'm just gonna do three colors. Okay, listen, I have to show you here because I had to use green fabric, which doesn't really show up on our green mat here, okay? So this, I thought, now the one behind Emily, um, the backgrounds are just the same as the background for the butterfly, which is right here. But I just thought this was really fun to just kind of bring in some different fabrics. I love that it's spring. Um, I took the pinks and the yellows and the greens, and then that's what I'm gonna use to make my cross canoes. Just think outside the box. Think about how you wanna make that cross canoe. Do you wanna make it the same as the butterfly? You could totally do that as well. Mm -hmm. It just really depends on what you wanna do. There is no dye police, okay? <laughs> That's what I tell my tell quilters. There's no die police. So we're gonna leave these out here. We're gonna put this here. Now, this is on a 10 by 10 die board, so make sure you have a 10 by 10 cutting mat. 
All right, Emily, as I cut some fabric, tell us if people are liking salty or sweet. Yes, and I actually, I have a really interesting question too from Miss Eileen. Hi, Eileen. She's wondering if the butterfly dye can be used for other blocks. Oh. And I actually have a kind of a suggestion for her because there's a really, really cool pattern that was actually just, um, it was newly launched onto our website by one of our experts named Vicki. Um, it's called the Butterfly Crossing Wall Hanging and it oh, combines yes. the crossroads with the butter. Like you wouldn't even know they're butterflies unless you like cock your head to the left and like squint. You know what I mean? You no, know, that, that was on our live event last week and yeah. there's, you can go back and watch that, but the, the, uh, the pattern's on our website. It is, right? it is. Okay, and I thought the same thing when I saw that pattern. I thought, oh, look at how clever Vicki is to just incorporate it with that crossroads die. Yeah, it was pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. And that crossroads die is also part of that sale. So if you just needed the crossroads, it's only 50-48 today. So. Okay, every time I make the crossroads, I think of the London Underground. Yeah, that's just me. Okay, so let's look at this die because that was a really great question. Because look on this die. So we have a rectangle and another rectangle, but look at these half score triangles and these smaller half score triangles and other half score triangles. Yes. So when you look at a bob die quilters, it's not just a butterfly. It comes with so many other elements, other shapes that we don't find in a cube. You know, we always talk about the cube system and how great that is. But I think that this one has, you know, three different kinds of half square triangles. And then if you add them here, then this makes a square, right? And so um, in that process of making the square, then you can actually make squares that have kind of this funky shape in the center, which I think is such a great idea. I love that. A good value. Well, and like with those, that shape G, that's so, it reminds me of the piano keys in borders. Mm -hmm. Like you could do a whole border with you you could. Know, little stripes or even use the oh, A here. and B shapes to do a cool kind of funky. Let's measure, shall we? <laughs> And okay. what's cool too is about that about our website is that if you do go to the item page, um, unless they're non-standard shapes, they'll typically have the dimensions. Right. Um, but we can always check, obviously, since we're since we're at it. Okay, so this is actually a one and a quarter by five and a quarter inch uh, rectangle, so it's going to finish to like three quarters by four and three quarters. So piano keys is a great idea for this. Or do you remember at the be very beginning of the show, we had the quilter who had all of the strips with the gnomes. Yes. So a great way to just use your scraps, create squares with them, there right? Yeah. And then add, you know, butterflies or gnomes or flowers or whatever. But I do love the thought of a piano key, okay? All right, so we're gonna do this. Let's cut some of these. Oh, maybe I did? Oh, I did. See, it's a good thing we keep track of things. <laughs> okay, here we go. And Miss Deborah actually has a question that I can answer for her as okay, well. Okay, Deborah, let's hear the question. She's wondering how to keep buying a die that is in your cube. So what I always recommend doing is if you do buy a cube is to register each of those dies into your product library. Yeah, do them separately. Exactly. Yeah, because that way you'll have every single individual die as opposed to to the um, the cube itself, which yep. automatically registers when you purchase yep. that. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. All right, to make my blocks, I'm going to have a pink center with a green point. And then I'm going to have a yellow center with a pink Point. Okay, so we're gonna go to this point. I totally leave these on here because when we get to sewing this shape to the outside, oh, twice I sewed them wrong. Yeah. Well, it's easy to not pay attention to what you're doing, okay? So this is cross canoes, and now I'm just gonna take my little pieces here. Again, these have specialized dog ears, quarter inch seam allowance. Everything is gonna work perfectly. Love it. And this, is, and this is a great question too, um, Pam, about bob dies in general. Okay. 
Gail's wondering um, when she's wondering like how can I tell when you need to buy a bob dye versus okay I already have this in my cube but I believe like a majority of our bob dyes are have like irregular custom shapes right? right there's a few of our bob dyes that you could make with your cube but typically bob dyes are all the shapes on one die board yeah you're probably not going to find them in your cube like for example the tree of life um, yeah. that is an amazing bob die mm -hmm. and I love it because those um, half square triangles mm -hmm. finish to like one and a half inches or one and three quarter inches yeah. which is a shape you're not going to find in your cube but all of the 73 pieces that you need to make the block all can be cut in one pass through the cutter. Yeah. So think about that time and that accuracy and using up your scraps. I'm working on one right now, it'll be in the blog maybe next week, on um, I'm taking pinks and making them totally scrappy on that tree of life. Oh, cool. And how fun that's gonna be. So just kind of think outside the box. So. Yeah, typically when we do a show and we launch a die, especially if it's a bob die, we'll say, hey, listen, first question quilters are gonna ask is, can I make it with my cube? Mm -hmm. Carpenter's wheel, beautiful, because it has half square triangles and diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds are not in your cube, parallelograms are in your cube. Exactly. Carpenter's wheel, producer Joey, it's his new favorite. Is it really? Yeah, it used to be pineapple, but I think Carpenter's wheel, is that right, Joe? It's taken over. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's shaking his head, yeah. <laughs> One day when producer Joe has, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe we're gonna make him sew a block. There we go. I know. Joe's Bob we of should, the day. We should have, a, we should have um, a little show with the guys and sewing a block, cutting and sewing a block. That would be fun. That would be very fun. I'm excited to get to join you in a couple weeks. Yes. There. When we launch our June Dye to Try, June is that what it is? I know, can you believe it's almost no. June already? Oh I my cannot. goodness. I cannot. Okay, so again, I'm pressing my seams open. I like how this looks. So now I'm gonna do the opposite. So I'm gonna do my greens here. All right, so here's the green and here's the green, okay, and So here's the yellow colors. and here's the yellow. And I'm gonna show you this trick <laughs> because I learned it yesterday when I, I have, it's been a long time since I've made this block. Okay, so look how I fold it over like this. Mm -hmm. See how it lines up? Yes. That right? Is... So it ends here and it ends here. And yeah, those dog it ears. ends here and it ends here. It like almost like nestles into each other. It's right. just so nice. So if you're trying to put the wrong side down, look, it's not gonna match up. Right. I know, sometimes we learn some things, okay? Here we go. You know, it's here like we go. <laughs> my seam ripper is my best friend at this point. Oh, listen. <laughs> okay, I am 99% done with my exploding heart quilt. <gasps> that um, we should have a picture of it. It's gonna go to the quilters this weekend, mm -hmm. um, but for next Wednesday, we'll have a, a picture of it. Um, I made it with my eight inch cube and it's just been such a fun project. Oh, I bet. Uh, you can get that um, pattern at Slice of Pie, P.I. Our good friend Laura made that, it was yeah. great. That, that. All right, are people liking salty or sweet, Emily? Let's see. Oh, Annette was saying she ate way too many chocolate covered peanuts and candy corn last Halloween. <laughs> there you go. Right? Um, pop, oh my gosh, popcorn and jalapenos, says Jackie. Like, I have never heard of that combination. I feel like the jalapenos will make the popcorn soggy. I want to. I, I need to. I need more details on how this works. Like, is it? Do you have like slices? Are you eating these jalapenos? Like, yeah, yeah that's. I need weird. more information, is, Jackie. Okay, I don't eat jalapenos. So, is there such a thing as like candied jalapenos? Maybe. It. I mean, we're stranger things have happened. No one knows here in the dream <laughs> studio. Other guys are like, oh, I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Valerie says, yum, turtles. <laughs> turtles are the best. <laughs> turtles is my favorite um, Dairy Queen lizard. They used to have pecan mudslides Ooh. at Dairy Queen. 
and they don't have them anymore. Every now and then you can find somebody who's worked at Dairy Queen for 100 years and they know what one is. Right. Um, but a turtle blizzard is pretty close. That sounds but pecan Medzolite had chocolate and caramel and pecans and ice cream. It was delicious. We might have to have an ice cream party after this. Know, it's going to be 97 <laughs> degrees today in Omaha. I feel like all everybody in Omaha, it's going to be going tonight to get ice cream. Exactly. Um, some of our team works out of state and like in Oregon this morning, it was 37 degrees. Wow. So my goodness. Okay, so what else are people eating that's salt and sweet tea? Okay, it's funny that we're talking about ice cream. So Cynthia likes ice cream with roasted and salted sunflower seeds. So like, salt, again, like that salty sweet combination. Okay, so I am not a pistachio fan. Okay. Pistachio nuts are not my favorite. But yeah, I can put roasted salted pistachios on ice cream. Ooh, that sounds delicious. It's the only way I will eat pistachios, which I feel like is not a healthy alternative. So Starbucks yeah. had a pistachio latte for a little bit there that was my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh my gosh. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so look here, we're sewing while we're talking about salt and sweet. We are. Look how fast this um, block goes together. And again, quilters, I think you just need like four of these for your quilt. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Yeah, so you could just totally chain piece them. When I chain piece this block, I, I do exactly that. I so all I cut all the pieces and then I sew this shape to this shape and you know move my you know whatever that is sure. seated B and and then I add the left and the right so I just have stacks of them which I think is great okay so now I'm gonna sew my blocks together and they're gonna line up perfectly because we have cut them perfectly and sewn them with a true quarter inch seam all right what else are people yes. doing Emily Eaten wise. Eat. Okay, this is interesting. So Donna says that people in the South put peanuts in their Coca-Cola. Yeah. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. I tried it once. Yeah? It was not my favorite. No. Well but that's a real that's a real thing. It's a regional yeah, thing. That's, that's pretty thing. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. Here we go. Oh, this is sweet. Elizabeth, when she was young, her dad would take her to the Sears store where you could get hot roasted cashews. Oh, I do love favorite. cashews. Yeah. When Those... I, I was in New York um, over like the Christmas holidays once and we had like roasted chestnuts Ooh, from wow. street vendors in New York City and they were delightful. I always remember at the holidays when the mall was, you know, more in its high holy days. <laughs> and it used to be the place to be. And they had the vendors with the German uh, roasted almonds that would you would oh, just yes. walk around and all you could yes. smell was sugar and cinnamon. And, yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So look at how cute my block is. And now I'm going to press to either side so my pieces nest, and then I'm gonna show you how cute it's gonna look next to my, oh my gosh. butterfly block. I know, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun for spring. All right, so I'm gonna just press to one side and then press to the other, and then my pieces will nest. We're almost done, okay? So exciting, yeah. You could, I know, if, I, if we weren't chatting it up, you could have done this in like two seconds flat. <laughs> Listen, Pearl and I have been downstairs sewing lately. Mason was home for the weekend. We had a great time. He was here for Mother's Day. Hey, and a huge shout out to the men in my life who like planted flowers on Saturday. Um, oh, yeah. Because that's what I love for them to come and do. What was your, how was your Mother's Day? You know, it was great. So um, on Saturday, Taylor, and since Mason was already home, mm -hmm. Taylor came over and uh, Taylor and Ray and Mason did about, I don't know, two and a half hours of yard work. Well, they put nice. mulch down in some of my beds and they um, planted flowers in pots. And the kids came over for a little bit, which was fun because they like to plant flowers in pots. And then afterwards, we all went to lunch. And it is truly my favorite uh, Mother's Day tradition because I do love to watch men work. So I sat on the back deck with my lemonade and <laughs> told everybody what to do, which is super fun. 
<laughs> At our house, we have lots of people who like to be in charge. Okay. So it was nice that I could just be in charge, which oh, that's awesome. Which was fun. So yeah, <laughs> it was great, and it was fun to have Mason home. Good. Good. Yeah, he I just bet. came for the weekend, which was fun. All right, look at there. There's my cross canoe block. Ta da ta da. Gorgeous. Woohoo! Thank you. All right, so follow the pattern to finish the quilt top, add the borders, use those strip dies. They're part of that um, class of 22 sale. Layer the batting between the quilt top and the backing, pin and base, pin or based, quilt as desired. Make sure you use a strip die and stripe binding, and don't forget to miter your corners. Hey, quilters, we would love for you to share your finished projects with us on our social media platforms. I just love them, okay? Join me and Erica on Tuesday, May 17th at 12 noon central time for a new launch party. Listen, you do not want to miss this. Four new products, they're gonna be great. Be sure to register though for the chance to win prizes. Absolutely. Right? Okay, in celebration of the class of 2022, we have a promo code class of 22 to help celebrate all the graduates in your life allow you to take 22% off your order. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for detail. Don't forget, we're having a warehouse sale that will take up to 34% off select items when you use that code, class of 22 uh, promo code. And if you spend $400 or more, you can get a free GoMe fabric cutter starter set, no promo needed. And all of the bundles from last week's launch are still available on our website. So check the website for pricing and details. This one's great. It has the nine inch setting triangles. It has crossroads. It has starry path and the two dies that you need to use with both of those. Okay. So Emily, what else should they be thinking about getting with that class of 22? Did we get everything we needed? I think so. Well, we, did we talk about the feathers die that's behind oh, here, you? Oh, here, let me walk back. Okay. Yes. On that awesome Ready? quilt. Okay. I have no shoes on and short pants. Okay. So this is um, this amazing quilt that uses our butterfly, but look, like here's circles and here's feathers. And during the launch, we talked about some fun things you could use to embellish these particular um, butterflies, which I think is great. And then this, Emily, is our six inch cube. Okay. And we used it to make a nine inch churn dash block uh -huh. uh, because it's a three column, three rows. That's right. Okay? That's so great. that cube system, remember, is great. I just think this is so fun. It's really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And all of the items that you need to get, ex you know, with the exception of the butterfly dye, all right. the, the daisy, the feathers, yes. you know, the strip cutters today, that, that cube are all going to be part of that sale, which is, so yeah, if you, if this is a, a I love this pattern. And this producer really Joe, cool. who does like the churn dash, thought that the cross canoe block in this <gasps> color would be stunning in this pattern. That could be really, really cool. I know. Absolutely. I like it. It's a fabulous okay. idea. And don't forget, hey, we have this free program called Go Quilts on our website. You can go in and change the color race. All right, Emily, are you ready to announce our winner of today's butterfly dye? I'm ready and rare and Pam. Hey. Can I get a drum roll, please, for the winner today? There's Alana W. of Amherst Junction, Wisconsin. Congratulations. You're going to love it. Yay. All right, be sure to join us for next week's AccuQuilt Live. We're going to use some, make some great projects using our new product, which launches on Tuesday. On behalf of our entire team, so offsite we have Morgan and is uh, Lauren still helping us? She is. And Lauren, who's helping us, we're glad that she's here. In the studio, I have Brock and Justin and Joe and of course the amazing Emily. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. See you later.